This is your local news brief for Friday, March 27, 2020. The city of Pasadena has released a statement confirming three new cases of COVID-19. The statement attributes these cases to community transmission. The Pasadena Public Health Department is in contact with those who were exposed to the affected individuals. The Pasadena Star News reports a total of 10 confirmed cases in Pasadena. The Grab and Go Meal Distribution Program for Families will now provide meals seven days a week while schools continue remote learning. The addition of weekends comes after the Pasadena Unified School District, or PUSD, partnered with the City of Pasadena. In a statement released by the City, the special one-time funding is an attempt to address unforeseen and unmet food needs for PUSD students. In a statement released by the PUSD, Superintendent Brian McDonald said, While we put into effect the public health order to stay at home and extend the likely date of return, I want to assure our students, families, and staff that PUSD will continue to provide the vital services such as distance learning, student meals, and social emotion support for our students no matter how long it takes. Meals can be picked up between the hours of 9 a.m. through 11 a.m. at the following PUSD schools. Elliott Arts Magnet Academy, Field Elementary, John Muir Early College Magnet High School, Madison Elementary, McKinley K-8 School, Norma Coombs Elementary, and Wilson Middle School. After returning to Pasadena from leading a delegation in sister city Dakar Plateau, Senegal, Mayor Terry Tarnick and Councilmember John Kennedy are self-isolating in compliance with the Safer at Home order. The City Council is scheduled to meet Monday, March 30th at 2 p.m. Council members are expected to participate via teleconference in order to practice social distancing. Relief efforts against COVID-19's economic fallout is on the agenda. A group called Reclaiming Our Homes that consists of mothers who are homeless have begun to occupy Caltrans-owned homes in El Sereno with their children. The group claims to be seeking shelter from COVID-19 exposure. Caltrans purchased properties in the 1960s and 1970s to demolish them for the 710 Freeway Extension Project. In October of 2019, Governor Gavin Newsom signed a bill that killed the freeway extension, leaving the homes untouched and vacant. Reclaiming Our Homes group member Ruby Gordillo is quoted in a Pasadena Now article as saying, With this health crisis and this housing crisis, we need every vacant house to be a home for those who don't have a safe and stable place to sleep in. Caltrans has not removed any members from the homes as of yet, but an increase in police patrol has been seen in the area to discourage more vacant homes from becoming occupied. The City of Pasadena recently sent out a team to inspect the shut-down St. Luke's Medical Center, hoping to convert it into a resource during the COVID-19 pandemic. Ultimately, it was deemed unusable, with all of the plumbing having been stripped out. Dignity Health announced free virtual consultations via their service Virtual Care Anywhere for those with mild to moderate COVID-19 symptoms. The virtual consultations are in hope of easing urgent care demand due to the pandemic. Dignity Health's website clarifies mild symptoms as a low-grade fever, a cough, or difficulty breathing. Those interested must request a consultation. More information on how to request a consultation can be found on Dignity Health's website, dignityhealth.org. Many local nonprofits, businesses, and sub-communities are feeling the impact from COVID-19. Although the times are unpredictable and unprecedented, there are ways to help. Short on blood, the Huntington Memorial Hospital has opened a blood donor center in Pasadena. More information on the blood donor center and how to help the Huntington Memorial Hospital in their COVID-19 response efforts can be found on their website, huntingtonhospital.org. Union Station Homeless Services offers safe housing, access to meals, medical and mental health care, and more to those in need. COVID-19 has disrupted their services in many ways. More information on how to help their cause can be found on their website, unionstationhs.org. Many students rely on a hot lunch during the school day as a source of nutrition. 
the Pasadena Unified School District is providing meals to families. More information on how to support this cause can be found at passedfoundation.org.